epilogue, breakthrough. A week after Prince Snow's arrest, Sana was sitting at her design table and fiddling with a pencil and ruler. She'd sketched out a preliminary design for a jewelry box lid days ago, but she was having trouble figuring out the dimensions of the box. She knew how big she wanted it to be, but couldn't get the length of the edges right. She set down her tools and pushed herself back from the desk. This wasn't working, and she was starting to get eye strain. Her bots, left loose since the room had no windows and her mom was the only other person home, buzzed soothingly. Sana held out her hand and called a small cloud to hover a few inches above her palm. She focused, and the bots formed into a blurry, thrumming rectangular prism that was the perfect shape for her project. She closed her eyes and focused on the feel of the cloud. If she could lock it down, maybe she could get her hands and eyes to translate the dimensions onto paper. Unlike the first time she tried to form a construct, this time she didn't force the bots together. Instead, she stayed calm and slowly coaxed the bots to come closer and closer together while staying in the bounds of what she wanted. Their vibrations became tighter and tighter, and individual bots in the periphery began to link. Bots from the center came in to fill the space left behind. Sana kept her attention on maintaining the prism, barely aware of how it was becoming less and less fluid. The tipping point felt like a shattering chain. The prism dropped into Sana's hand, and she opened her eyes at the impact. Sitting in her palm was a construct. A real construct, not a piece of clothing or a javelin. She'd done it! It wouldn't work in a combat situation, but she'd done it! Shock and delight ran through her like a shot, and the prism wavered. She got herself under control and traced each side, then called the remaining bots to a jacket and all but ran out of the workshop to show her mom. Before she could get to the living room, her burner phone rang. Only one place had its number, so she reformed the prism into a chunky bracelet and headed for her bedroom instead. She dug out her choker, clipped it on, and answered, Hello? Swarm, where are you right now? Detective Valentin demanded. If Swarm didn't know better, he'd say the man was concerned. In my secret lair. Why? He replied as though joking. He wasn't, but DV didn't have to know that. Real cute. This is serious, Swarm. Sounded serious. Okay, I'll bite. What's got your knickers in a twist? Prince Snow's gone missing. The security cameras were trashed. Now where are you? There was only one good response to that. Ah, crap.